Cleveland MOTEP is out in the community always. We try and get the word out about the importance of organizing tissue donation, especially in the minority community, as much as possible. In the United States, we have many more patients who are waiting for a kidney transplant than those who actually get a transplant each year. I first learned of me needing a kidney, uh, needing a transplant, when I was in, in high school. It takes you through a whole emotional roller coaster because first you're on dialysis. I really didn't have the thought of where am I gonna get the kidney from because I had a lot of brothers and sisters. And then I get the transplant and that fails. I never leave the hospital with that kidney. So you can imagine how I feel emotionally and mentally. I either had two choices, why me, die, or live, go forward, I'm on dialysis. So I chose the second option and then came the second transplant. I got a second chance at life. And with that second chance of life, I now am more positive. I am now more grateful for what I have. I got my heart in, um, down in Dallas, Texas. I arrived on March uh, 2015. The very next day around, I guess, noon, he called me for a heart surgery. He had a heart for me, so I was, I was caught off guard, but I was happy. I got the transplant about 18 hours later. My gift of life was probably like the second best thing to being born. You know, um, I can hear the birds chirping outside now. I can feel the air on my face. I can smell the flowers. Unfortunately, in 2011, I contracted a virus. I became very ill, um, was on life support for approximately three weeks. Even though I made it out of that, unfortunately, it did damage my kidney uh, severely. Tanya and I had been friends for years, and she came and visited me quite a bit in the hospital, and she saw my struggles. I will never forget the conversation. I was driving home from work, and she called to see how I was. And I said, Tanya, this is irreversible, the damage that's been done. I need it. And I said, well, maybe I can brighten your day and tell you what I did today. I went and got tested, and we're a match. I was just surprised, you know, because this is something that is not to be taken lightly. And um, I mean, it saves your life. I remember my surgeon came to see me and he said, Sanaz, you can't believe it. As soon as I sewed the urethra to the kidney, it started making urine and your body just started getting rid of the toxins. You know, both of us being bandaged up, <laughs> we were both like, bring us together, bring us together. We gotta see that the other one is okay. And it was, um, it was like I now had another sister. And I was so excited because I wasn't sick for the first time in a really long time. Every anniversary of our surgery, I send her flowers. I just want to make sure she knows that I'm doing what I'm doing because of her. There are many myths in the minority communities perhaps about organ donation. And I think with better knowledge, people will be able to dispel those myths and be more engaged in, in these type of life-saving endeavors. I wish that our race was not so fearful. It's unfortunate because there are options available to a better quality of life. And we hold the key to help someone else achieve that. We want to help you with all it is that we can to move you off of dialysis and onto a more successful life that I am now sustaining after 38 years of being off of dialysis. If you sign up to become an organ donor, you have the potential to save people's lives. It could be as easy as when you go and get your driver's license at the BMV to sign up there, or you can visit donatelife.net. You can register to be an organ donor at that time. I'm saying that you can really help somebody. Just take the time to register, become an organ, eye and tissue donor to help many people.